Yeah. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody get get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. Nelson so I am all packed ready to go I have actually some furniture in the back of my car I am going to travel for four hours and I'm going to go to my niece's house to give her a surprise room makeover she's actually a teacher for trade but she is going to become a foster mom and so she is going to be welcoming a little one into her home and she is not married yet and so she's gonna be doing this all on her own and it's gonna be a little bit tough like financially to get a room put together for this cute kiddo coming in and so we thought, oh my gosh, what a perfect opportunity for Not Enough Nelsons to help. So we are going to go there. I'm going to meet Kennedy. We are going to shop for her three favorite items to give us inspiration. And we're going to go crazy and get this room super cute for her. My goal is that she is just like so touched. And it just, I don't know, like it brings all those dreams that she's been having about caring for a little one to like fruition. And that it's actually going to happen. So I'm so excited. So travel with me and help me decorate this room for her. I'll wait to see. Your golden smile Feel of a thousand Alright guys, kisses. I just got here. I'm gonna go introduce you to my niece Carly and get some befores and then I'm gonna take her shopping. Let's go. So me and my assistant Gabby are here. We're brave in the weather. We're gonna go knock on her door and surprise her. <laughs> She's already got in her boxes. That's a good sign. Hopefully she has most of it. A little worried about the bed, however. Amazon's having a little bit of a hard the, the time. The bed, I don't know what happened. Yes. <laughs> well, we're, we're hoping it gets here. It says we'll be here by tonight, so let's hope. All right, let's do it before. Okay, so here is the room. It's very echoey. It's very empty. That's all right. It's very empty. <laughs> it's nice. Has a closet. A it. Nice. nice. That's huge. A window, that's good. And then this wall here, maybe bed. Then we got this wall, okay. A simple word and us is match. Oh, Kennedy's here. So we drove all the way here, and this is actually kind of where Kennedy lives. So Kennedy is joining us for all of our fun decorating needs. Have you guys gotten anything yet? Yes, we're getting close. So we're kind of trying to decide between like this one and this one. It's tricky. I think I'd probably go with, with that guy though. With, with the that guy? Ones. Okay. Awesome. Thing one. Okay, so we're thinking we're going to do this. It kind of matches that other piece because it has the same style like so cute. Okay, next I'm going to have her choose a lamp. Okay, so she's not in love with any of the amps here, so I think we're gonna actually go to TJ Maxx, which is really close too. But look how cute. There's these chairs right here. I don't know, I'm gonna see. That one doesn't quite match this one, but they're so cute. All right, so Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> the cabinet that I just barely filmed right there. We went up to go have the guy come and get it because it was heavy for us, and some other gals just took it. And I offered him actually to Venmo them an extra 50 or $100 to give it to me and they said no. So now we have to go find another cabinet. <laughs> Sorry, Carly. All right. All right, so now the debate is, do I get this even though the legs match so cute and then see if I find something over there or just scrap it and just start from fresh and see if I find something over there. So what do you guys think? Scrap it, keep it, I don't know. Maybe we can go to the show that's right here and check. I'm super bummed about it. I think I'm still gonna get this 
because I can always bring it back. Anyway, I tried everything. They have a conference. I was like, but can I maybe pick it up after the conference? They're like, it's all weekend. I'm like, ah. So anyway, note to self, if I find something I like, stand by it and put my hand on it until the guy comes to get it. Let's hope we don't find mean pinners for Pinterest party here. <laughs> pinners. <laughs> Those pinners better not be here. They saw us have the side table and they saw us standing by it and they saw us getting a guy to get it and then they ran over and just pulled off the shelf. That was rude. You know who you are up there if you're watching this. That was rude. Hey guys, I am currently on the phone with Amazon. They said the bed was going to be delivered yesterday. Now it updated to say it was be delivered tonight. And now it's saying Friday. So I'm like, I'm not going to be here Friday. You got to have it here. So can I please pick it up so I'm hold waiting. <laughs> guys, this is not going well so far. Wish me luck. Okay, so we're going across all of these rugs. There are some that are super cute. Let me show you those really fast. Like these are so cute, but they're a tiny bit more like rough. And so we're just kind of like thinking about it and like as a little kiddo in a strange place, in a new place, I don't know, just like to sit on the rug and play. You want it to be more comforting. And so I think we're gonna do more of a comforting texture, um, even though it might not look as like Pinterest worthy. I think we want to make it more cute kiddo worthy. So we're gonna do this one. Carly chose this one. I think that was actually really cute. And this one's actually soft. It's not like kind of the twine feel. So let's see if we can find the right size. There's eight by ten. All right, finally, rug check. Now we have to see if we can find the cabinet since the people took it. The pinners! <laughs> person in here. When you throw a tantrum, it comes down. <laughs> okay, guys. Here is the sitch. This is probably one of the most important room makeovers that I've ever done because it is for a child who has been put in foster care. This child will have gone through a lot of, anyway, unless you've experienced it or had it as part of your life, it's hard to explain, but it's definitely one of the most traumatic things that any child can go through. Even if they're escaping from a really hard situation, the most traumatic thing is being taken from you know, your biological family, whether it's safe for you or not. And so this room is just so special to me. And Carly, my cute niece, she is just, I've just always felt like she is one of those pure souls. You know what I mean? Like those people in our world are just kind hearted, want the best for everybody and just so loving. And anyway, I so bad want this for her and things are not working out. Okay. So let me just back up. When I placed the order with Amazon, you know that little thing that like pops up when you're putting in a new address and it says, this is a better address, you know? Like use this address, suggested address. And I quickly looked at it and it looked good, but it had like the rest of the zip code and everything. So click, yes, use that address, go. Well, a few days later, as I started delivering things, I found out that they had transposed like the south. In fact, they didn't just transpose them. The south was north and the east was west. So I quickly went on Amazon, fixed it, called them, talked to them. They're like, oh, we think it'll be okay. We fixed it. We put it in the instructions. We put it in the notes and all of this stuff. So the bed, the most important piece of the entire room, I'll put it right here. It's super cute. They were like, oh, it will be delivered Tuesday. And then I get a note yesterday as we're driving through the blizzard that it will be delivered tomorrow like it was yesterday night is what it says so it will be delivered by 10 p.m and i'm like okay that's fine at least it will be there we will have time to do this so i pick up carly and a couple of the things when i made the address change could not be delivered anymore in time and those things were like a dresser or something that shelves something to put baskets on to hold things a lamp and a rug so 
as you know yesterday, we find the perfect shelf. In fact, it was so perfect, I literally videoed it right there and was like, we're gonna go with this shelf, it's so cute. Okay, so we're thinking we're gonna do this. Meanwhile, there was two ladies looking at other shelves the whole time and they literally saw me filming this is the shelf we're going to get. They literally saw me tell Gabby, hey, will you go get the guy up there to come and get the shelf, right? So she's up there trying to get the worker to come and help us get the shelf because we've all had back surgery, so we can carry it. And she comes back and she's like, well, I found a lady, she's gonna try to get a guy. I'm like, okay. So we start wheeling our cart up there and I turn around and these ladies are going and taking the shelf off of the thing. And I'm like, ah, oh, Gabby, go tell them, like we already have a guy coming to grab that. She goes back there and she's like, oh, we already have a worker coming to grab that, we're getting that, and they're like, sorry, we need it for our conference. And she's like, well, but we already are getting it, we already found a thing that matches it, we have it in the car, we've already told the people at the front to come and pick it up, and then right as she's explaining to him, the guy to pick it up walks up, right? And so I'm, back, I'm like in line to get the rest of it, I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> And then these ladies carry it up in line. And I'm like, oh, what? did you not see? We were getting that. And um, I've already filmed it and everything. Like, it's going in a room I'm doing for my niece and they don't care. They're like, well, sorry, we need it. And they were just like that, we need it. We have it for tomorrow. We were looking at it as well. I'm like, um, we've been here for a half hour. You weren't looking at it. We were standing by it. I'm like, please, is there any way? Like, I will Venmo you $50 right now. And she's like, no. I will Venmo you $100 right now. And I look over at the guy that was supposed to pick it up for us and he's just like shaking his head. And I'm like, does this happen a lot in the store? And anyway, they're just like, no, we need it tomorrow. I'm like, well, will you be done with it tomorrow? Can I like buy it from you tomorrow for more money? And they're like, no, we need it all weekend. And I'm like, ah! Okay, thank you. It was like one of those scenes. Have you ever seen like Shopaholic or something? I've never seen it in real life, but it was one of those scenes I like wanted to like lunge across the room, and like grab it and be in like a tug of war. Because I had like four ladies with us, right? I had Gabby, Kennedy, Carly, and me. You could have totally won. Anyway, wasn't meant to be, but still left me in a lurch because we went to two other stores and couldn't find anything. Then I get the lovely news that driving back it still has not been delivered yet, the bed. So I call Amazon and Amazon is normally so like good, right? I call Amazon, I'm on the phone with this nice gentleman who's like, oh yeah, it's still saying it will be here by 10. And I'm like, are you sure? Will you call like places being delivered for everyone? So let me get off the phone and he calls back and he's like, Oh, it says Friday. I'm like, that won't work. Is there any way I could just come and pick it up from like your distribution center? Anyway, he comes back on after like being on hold for like a half hour. He's like, oh, we just realized it won't be delivered for 10 days. 10 days, people. I don't have 10 days. We, I go home today because tomorrow I leave on a trip with Benji for his birthday. <laughs> so now here we are. It's the next morning. I only have today to do room makeover. You guys don't see it, but it usually takes me at least four or five days. Anyway, so this is what we have to do today. I need to go find a bed. A really important piece of the whole thing it has to be cozy and fun and comforting to this child. I need to find, I've got Betty's already coming, which thank you Betty so much. I called them and told them about how I was doing this room for Carly and they literally donated the Betty's and all of the cute stuff, the pillows, the like everything. So cute, thank you Betty's. I love Betty's and you know why? I love them more than just for the cuteness. What is so cool about a Betty's is they zip up, right? So it's easy, non-stressful on a bed to be able to sit up. But not only that, there is something so comforting about, I mean you think about it, these kiddos have been through trauma, they've been through a hard time. There's something so comforting about getting into a bed and it smells good and and it's soft and the inside of them are minky, right? And it's got minky fabric. They can zip themselves in like a snuggly little sleeping bag for like, like comfort and cozy feeling like that can bring healing to their little hearts. Anyway, I love Betty's for more than just the cuteness. So, but anyway, I got the bedding, but I need to find the bed and I need to find the shelf and dresser. This is gonna be a huge feat because not only do I have to find them, but they have to be able to be brought today to her apartment. So. I'm going to go to Ikea because maybe I can get it in boxes. If I can't find it there, I'm gonna to go to a couple other furniture stores. I'm gonna hit Target and even see if I'm lucky there. Anyway, wish me luck. 
say a little prayer in your heart that I will be able to find these and that this room will turn out even better than if I would have gotten the shelf and if the bed would have arrived. Like hopefully this, there's, there's a reason for everything. I truly believe that. And so hopefully we can find something that is just even more perfect for this cute little one over Carly. So let's go. Okay guys, I am finding the cutest stuff. So I'm gonna make that great big closet kind of like a cozy corner. And I've got like a little like back sit against like, I don't know what you even call those, but I got a couple cute pillows to go in there, a blanket. I found these little dolls. Look how cute they are. So cute. And I'm gonna kind of like make a little area just kind of, I don't know, to like go and hide. A lot of times, I don't know, that's kind of healing to kids too, to kind of have their own little cozy place where they feel safe. And so I'm gonna make a little cozy corner in her closet. Guys, wait a minute. Look, okay, it is the same one. It is the same one. <laughs> Guys, we found the wait, same one, so. Wait, no. Wait, oh no. It looks like somebody might have already bought it. Sad. But I have faith. I, we're gonna find the right thing. But <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds? It's here. <laughs> All right. It's okay. It's okay. Looks like somebody's already bought it. Darn it. Okay. We celebrated prematurely because okay. somebody's bought it. But I have a good feeling about this place. We're gonna find some. All right. There was another small ray of hope because they thought that the someone moved the tag onto the from another item, but then they checked and it was the right tag. So it's okay. I'm still having faith. On to the next door. Hey guys, these are super cute, but so far they're saying I would have to order it and that it's not going to work like it will come in a week which normally that'd be fine, but not for our case. So on to the next door. Guys! <laughs> okay, so look, we just found this. He's like, oh, as we were walking out the door, oh, there is one bed that you could take today. And he brings us back here and guys, it's a full and a twin. And that's what we have the beddies for. So yay, we're sick. Give me five, Gabby. <laughs> All right, let's load it up and go. You guys, we thought to stop by this store on the way. <laughs> Work. Put Prayers. your hand on it. Work. Don't don't take it off. <laughs> Prayers work. I swear. Yay! Shut up. I'm. Shut up. Carly's gonna die. She's gonna die. Cause last she heard, it was, it was gone, and there was nothing we could do. Okay. So excited. I'm not taking my hand off, but I will stand here until the person. Okay. I'm so excited. It's literally perfect. <laughs> Yes! Okay, you guys, it is finally done. It is so cute. Like, it literally turned out better than I could have ever imagined. And I cannot believe we put it all together. By the time we got home from finding all of the treasures, it was like two, and it is now seven. Guys, that is like hardly any time. It is a miracle. All right. Carly, come on over. Time to see the room makeover. Are you so I am so excited. <laughs> you guys, she's been so patient. She made some cute little pom poms that are in here. You'll see where they're at. She doesn't know where they're even gonna go, but that kind of like took a little bit of time while I was in the room. But it's done. I'm so excited. Okay, stop it, really. <laughs>
Oh. We're both crying. It's so cute. Oh my god. It's just not so, so cute. I just like it so cozy. Like it will just make him feel so like feeling. I don't know. Look at this. So okay, Carly. Is that? Do you notice that? Where's <laughs> that? Store we found one broken and but it was already bought and we were like oh man and last minute we're like let's just stop at one more home goods and we went there and there it was brand new there's nothing wrong with it it's perfect there well it well what do you know <laughs>if you want to see the full reveal of this room I need you to head over to Carly's channel yeah she has a channel besides being an amazing teacher to special needs kiddos and just being an amazing person all together she also has a channel and it's super funny so head over to whoa Nelly and you will see the final reveal of this room and her total reaction and everything love you all so much thanks for watching bye